What is good killers? It is your boy B man the fucking killer. I'm back with another video for you guys. So I just did a video in regards to the PS5 controller reveal. If you want to check that out, it will be a card on the screen or at the end of the video. Make sure you check that out, man. It means a lot to me, man. I gotta say, man, that the controller looks dope. But that's my opinion. But I want you guys to go check that out for you guys for yourself, alright? And let me know what you guys think and then come back to this video, okay? But anyway, for anybody that's into as Resident Evil knows I have covered Resident Evil before on this channel, not really heavy, but I am a big Resident Evil fan. And something really came to my attention that I really wanted to talk about. Now, let me get one thing out of the way. I do have Resident Evil 3 now, so I will be playing this on my channel. I'm still deciding if I want to do a live stream of it, do a gameplay, like walkthrough of it, either or. I think I might do a live stream depending because I am doing a lot of walkthroughs at the moment with regards to Control and upcoming the Devil May Cry 5. So... I think it would be smart to just do a live stream of it. So I think that's what I'm probably going to do most likely. All right. So I'm going to get the way. And then secondly, we have some very interesting news in regards to Resident Evil 8. In a sense, with all this Resident Evil being out right now, with being coming out last weekend on the what was it the fifth, the third, I believe. So a lot of stuff has came, has has come out. And so let's go on, go on, go into it now. You know, anything I cover, I always have. A link so if you want to read this original uh, article without my commentary it'll be in the description down below as a source but whatnot but you know I spit that real shit so you ain't gotta worry about it alright now remember take this with a grain of salt as I go through this you know what I'm saying but um, some of the stuff usually that come out that's like leaked are usually some of it's true so just wanna throw that out there alright so before we happen to it make sure you like comment subscribe when the rest of 1k click it again not a fuck we do let's hop into the news the past few months we've had a lot of random information cross our decks possibly pertaining to Resident Evil 8 this stuff reaches out from ridiculous to highly pa uh, plausible so it says it's me again uh, hi there, I have a bit more information for you guys regarding the upcoming title of Resident Evil 2021. So, this game is supposedly coming out um, 2021, which is crazy. Okay, so it says, in the highly possible category, we've recently heard more about the anonymous email that, that seems promising. In the email they sent with the subject line, it's me again, this is what they've said. So, it says, um, I don't even know this, what the fuck is this? Alright, whatever. Okay, says to start off the title. To start off, it seems that the eight will will be a sub to a subtle a subtitle of this time village. At least this is the working title. Given the formatting for seven, it will likely be a way for the highlight that eight for a Roman numeral eight for the clever title part. We will we were first told about seems to fit with this Resident Evil Eight Village. Okay. That's a dope design though, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's in addition, a lot of information previously provided us that uh, provided us has been expanded upon. The witch. Um, the nature and origin of the witch remains to be seen, but the least can tell us that the witch will be similar to uh, Margaret. She operates with insects. When defeated, she even dissipates them into, into them, and as reported in our original link article, she is known to hunt the player in the demo which is a distinctive laugh has a distinctive laugh okay so it says chris okay the device uh the diverse uh of the appearance of one chris redfield in the final d and dlc of seven said a rough percent uh proceeded for recurring characters in the new engine thankfully the remakes have now since fixed that worry but chris has yet to appear since right which is true he has only appeared at the end of resident evil 7 when he said when he they stopped the uh spoiler alert if you haven't played seven but when they stopped the main boss and then he appears in the head uh takes his helmet off and it's actually chris a lot of people thought it was hunk at first but it was later confirmed that it was actually chris redfield and he actually plays chris redfield in the now hero dlc uh trying to find i think it was the brother from the uh the bakers i believe they name what they name was or whatever so um, according to the league, Chris will be playing an eternal uh, integrated part in eight. And he appears in flashbacks surrounding Ethan, Maya, and apparently their baby. What what this baby has to do with the narrative is yet to be. Wait, well, they had a baby. That being said, Chris doesn't seem to be looking. Seems to be looking very heroic this time around. It appears that in the flashback sequence, Chris has been shooting one of them while breaking into their home. 
So has Chris gone deep cover or has all the years started in this abyss finally caught up with him? Oh shit. Okay, so he also apparently looks a bit different trying to budge the gap between the original. Barely Chris and the newer similar uh summer one. So this supposed to be this is the one they show. So is what the is this supposed to be the newer version or something? I mean it looks cool. Or whatever. But they're trying to go for photo 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 realistic now with the remake character. So let's see. Um, so this is Ethan. This is just thinking out loud, but given the situation and the fact that Ethan is now in the thick of it a second time, it's likely that Ethan will be more of a character this time. Also, I think it will be interesting to see Ethan as a long wolf like character on the mission to take in, to to take on evil and wipe it off from the earth. With Resident Evil 7 having an evil dead vibe and several references, it would make sense for Capcom to turn Ethan into a more wise cracking badass and others. Oh, like Ash Williams, okay. So, and others. Aside from story teases, um, the leak also gives some, some information about gameplay mechanics as well as other odds and ends. We've previously stated, based on our sources and others, that the game would take place in a European setting, which is where Ethan encounters Chris and triggers a flashback. So all of that seems to be still in order from the previous rumors testing last year. Also, uh, uh, also as of this time, it appears that first-person perspective will be returning. Ooh. Mmm. That's. Mmm. Now, me personally, I have no problem with the first person. I thought the first person was pretty dope. I think it was very, really different for Resident Evil formula. But there was a group of people, including some people I know, that did not like the first person. So, I'm wondering how people are going to feel about that. Mm, that's interesting. Okay, so I said they also know that the game is stated to release in Q1, the first quarter of 2021. But, of course, with the global COVID-19 pandemic, that might change. Damn, they was already planning on releasing another Resident Evil game for next year. What is Resident Evil 8 though, but um RE 3.5 version 2.0. Also, it seems the Capcom is playing with the concept of inventory management again. The email suggests that they're testing both their Resident Evil 7 style UI along with their Resident Evil 4 style, which is interesting to know considering all the buzz about a Resident Evil 4 remake, maybe it is likely as well. We're gonna get a Resident Evil 4 remake though. We're gonna get it. Maybe we're not gonna get it next year, but we're gonna get it. What, what point? They've already done two, three, so they're gonna do four and five. Because at this point, it seems like they're just—I feel like they're remaking the whole, the whole Resident Evil re. They're thinking. I think they're soft booting the whole Resident Evil uh, story as a whole. Because I think at a point, I think they kind of wrote themselves in the corner. So trying to, they're trying to, trying to fix some things out and kind of make it more modern. Than how it was back then in the 90s and all that, how we grew up liking it and shit like that. So I think that's what they're really going for. So it says another strange element is hallucinations. One of the things that makes 8 feel a bit like 3.5, these hallucinations, these hallucinations will, will likely make it hard for you to discern uh, what's real and what is not, and most probably who to trust. The most recent rounds of testing in March were likely to receive 8, and that is why there's new information since R3 has released. We can safely assume that they were testing uh, they were testing something new. Jesse has speculated these previous testers all have been actually testing eight, not three. Um, while this does seem that isn't that is a departure, no uh, no, uh, no insider dark dust golem states that believes that Resident Evil 8 started as reservations three. Oh, they were making a three? I played the first and second one. Uh, that does help it to make a bit more sense for the change if it's true. So it says, um, so this is what he says, games, but that was just a coincidence of what was being done at the time. Reservations 1 was built though, RE5 groundwork, Reservation, uh, Reservation 2 was built off RE6 groundwork, and Reservation 3 was going to be built off the RE7 groundwork. That's actually, that's the actuality of it. Okay, so then he says, of course, Rev 3 ended up being turned into RE8 now due to circumstance and quality. So now, so we are, so we, so we are where we are now. This also mean this also doesn't mean that Reservation Series is dead. In fact, the next part is purely my speculation, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if the part of the reason Rebecca was cut out. Wait, Rebecca was cut out? Oh shit. Okay, like it says, remember, we report things as they come to us. We can never verify our info aside from shopping 
around for other leakers and seeing what matches even though nothing is confirmed until Capcom says it. Despite that, we like to entertain the information we do receive. You never know sometimes there's a diamond in the dirt. Pretty much. So like I said in the beginning of the video, please take this with a grain of salt. But that is very interesting information. So basically, 8 was turned in, it was 8 came to be from Reservations 3. And so they were using the other engines from what was it? Three or well, four and then six and then seven, which makes sense. It was I I can see that making sense. Um right, and they also were spin-offs too from there that was going on while the other main games was going on. Cause I seen someone do a timeline of it though. Wow. So this is interesting. Okay, so there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in here. So it's potentially we might be playing as Chris and also Ethan, but this is supposed to take place after. So you're going to be amongst Ethan and Mia and their baby, but we don't even know if this is confirmed or not. So like I said, take this with a grain of salt. This is a lot of interesting information um, in regards to eight and with three being out right now, not being out for a week yet. Yeah. So, um, let me know you guys' thoughts about the article down below. Like I said, I will have the original link to argue yourself. If you want to reread it for yourself and whatnot without my commentary. But, um, 8 sounds very interesting, man. I see uh, we haven't really had a game in a while with Chris in it. Like, as a main protagonist since 5. So, it's good to see that. Um, yeah. So, let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I gotta render this, man. I got stuff to do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kill it out. Yeah, we know you used to put in work, that's so Nigga, and we seen your paperwork, you told All these niggas either sniffing glass or they living off the past While I'm blowing money fast with my bros Lately I've been seeing niggas sell they soul How you catch a case and bail out on parole?